ICT sector in Sultanate of Oman is the first to be liberalized compared to other GCC countries. The last few years, the sector uh, generally in Oman as well as uh, globally has uh, witnessed a number of uh, changes. For example, the uh, uh, decline in conventional services such as uh, voice and, and text, the emergence of the uh, data as the uh, dominating uh, revenue and growth. The telecommunication is one of the metrics which is measured before any investment comes to the country. And without seeing this infrastructure in place and accessible, it wouldn't be uh, possible for the investors to make the decision that they have to be in, in the country. It's a worldwide trend. There is a growing, growing demand for the ICT sector wherever you go. And nowadays, if you go from the west side of the globe to the east side of the globe, they are purchasing from each other. That would not be possible if the connectivity and the different infrastructure and the different tolerance are not in place. We have a healthy industry. We have an industry that has strong competition. We have an industry that has a partnering relationship between ourselves and other key stakeholders. That's our regulator, that's the various different entities that govern us as a publicly listed company, as well as a member of the telecommunications sector. This is a community that works together very, very closely. Oman has all the components that it takes uh, to make it very competitive for within the region and I think very soon internationally. We listen from them where is the international trend, what are the investor requirements, what are the collaboration between the country requirements and then based on that we develop our laws, our legislation, our policies and strategies just to make sure that we are not isolated and when investors come they will not find us, we are the third world. We are up to speed and we are aligned with the, even the developed countries. So today, companies who are coming to Oman, they are not coming here to Oman only to invest in Oman itself, but also to use Oman as a hub. So actually the investment opportunities and the business opportunities are wide, whether it is directly to the core business or indirectly to what we are offering on infrastructure or in the uh, financing uh, opportunities which we require in order to roll out this infrastructure. It's important for any foreign investors to come and make sure that their money of investment are spent in the right place. When you talk about the infrastructure, infrastructure in any country cannot be separated. The roads, electricity, telephone, mobile, post are all linked together. And any investor try to see how they all help him in setting up his business and nurturing it down the track. We are a country that has quite a young population and that drives some interesting dynamics. As we introduce new services into the market, we find that the adoption and the penetration of those is quite fast. As of today, more than two thirds of our customers have a smartphone device. And this is one of the highest penetration levels within the region and certainly higher than many, many countries around the world. Oman, today uh, we have 94% uh, uh, population coverage of 3G uh, technology. We have 80% coverage of uh, 4G uh, technology. One of the areas that we're concentrating on at the moment is building the services and applications that are going to take us to the next level, as well as creating an incubation environment and an environment where the small and upcoming small medium enterprises can actually play a stronger part in the ICT sector. Besides that, we have also the universities. We have six universities here in the country, all of which they have ICT department, IT for software development, for applications, for hardware and, so, and engineer and ICT from engineering perspective. We have at the research council here, they have a standalone sector called ICT sector, just focusing in how to develop the ICT sector from research and development perspective and how to make new innovation. This all adds up to delivering a level of confidence of potential investors that, that there will be a stable environment for them to operate and that they can make plans accordingly knowing that we operate with the highest business ethics and the highest ideals of the business community worldwide.